Wild in the offensive zone. Mervis scores! Given the platform that we as athletes have, the resources that we have, the connections that we have, we really feel like it's a responsibility that we get out and, and help people that need us. And you kind of find that that comes full circle. You know, there's certain times we need help too, and people are always there to help us also. It's kind of how we just think the world should work. It's just something that really fills our cup up away from the rink. Those feel-good moments, filling that cup up for us, if you will, it really comes from a lot of that work. You wanna go fast? Ready? Hang on. Hang on. My name's Dakota Mermis. Uh, I'm from Alton, Illinois, uh, which is a suburb of St. Louis. Uh, I grew up with one older brother who's four years older than me. He's named Jared. My parents both worked in St. Louis for a long time. My dad was a school teacher and my mom was a paralegal at a resource company in St. Louis. My dad kind of grew a love for hockey. As he got into high school, he kind of picked up a little bit. And then, of course, when my brother and I were born, you know, he wanted us to play hockey. And especially with me being the second sibling, I was constantly at the rink with my older brother. So that's kind of how hockey for me started. I think was trying to follow what my brother was doing. I believe so. Bones, what are you doing? I believe so. You got time for a game? No. Yeah. Oh, he wants to smoke. I need to warm up. <laughs> Let's go. He beat me the last two games, so I owe him. <laughs> he plays a lot, though. It's, it's just fun. We have, we have a good time. Right? Just so you know, the only reason you want is because I start doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Becoming captain was kind of a unique situation. Tim just called me into the office and kind of said, we're going we're gonna to name you captain. We're going to promote your role, your letter. And we believe in the leadership. And we feel like we need that stronger leadership presence with the seat. Something you always take a lot of pride in and something I certainly uh, take a lot of pride in. Dakota Mermis is not only a terrific hockey player, but he's a wonderful human being. A captain needs to be a hard worker, needs to be a really good player, needs to compete, needs to do things right so that he can challenge the team. Mermy was like that. And we needed that sort of energy. And then you've also got to be a guy that can be there for your team with a pat on the back when guys need it or the team needs it. But you also got to be able to challenge guys individually. You got to be able to stand up in the room collectively and challenge the team. I wouldn't say that, you know, I'm the most vocal guy as far as screaming and yelling, but obviously there's certain times where that's expected and I need to do that. Um, you know, I don't have a problem doing that, but like I said, I think definitely leading by example, being a guy that guys are comfortable with, uh, they know I have their back, because at the end of the day, like I said, we need to empower as leaders more guys to come and take leadership positions with you. Uh, I just feel like that drives the group forward even more. Now it should look. Point shot from Mervis, ends up wide on the right post. Chip down and Mermis is going to scuffle with Stefan Nason. This was predestined as they didn't even wait for the icing whistle to sound. They dropped it right in front of Jones. Nason <laughs> switches to his left and back to his right. A couple of hammering fists and a big right from Mermis. And another one from Nason. Oh, what a heavyweight bout this is. They're still going at it. Minutes flying by and Mermis flies. Nason. I think I've had to have that fire in my career. Kind of that perseverance, I think, of, you know, being passed over and being told that oh, you really weren't good enough. I've had to have that drive, uh, really an attitude of that, you know, I'll, I'll prove you wrong. And a lot of that fire comes from within that. Uh, just knowing that I, I don't feel like I'm going to take the back seat to anyone. Uh, I consider myself a front seat guy. So if you're trying to kick me to the back seat, um, yeah, I don't do too well with that. He put the pucks right in the lane. In the corner, well, Nate doesn't know where to place the puck. He gave me no choice. They said I had a dribble, but I said it's because you placed the puck back here. I didn't have a choice. Hey, you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, baby. That's a good start. I don't have a day in the life. I'm just making coffee. A day in the life with you would be your goal when you sit in your cup. Um, and then we're just heading home uh, to see what the family's up to. My family's awesome. My wife doesn't get enough credit for what she does for our family and keeping the house together through all the crazy moves, call-ups and send-downs and the whole thing. She's always kind of the rock that holds it all together. Gave me my first son, Brooks. He's just such a fun time to be around. He's so much personality. He's really coming into his own. He's growing up around hockey and he's crazy about hockey, wanting to carry his hockey stick all around. Of course, I have to mention my dogs, Kaiser and Charlie, what they do for us, just keeping us grounded throughout the crazy move. They're always consistent. Uh, I love them all the way too.
Good job. Yes. They're definitely my biggest supporters. They just go through the thick and thin with you. They understand all the hills and valleys. Um, they're the greatest when it comes to the support system. <laughs> decision for us as a management group and with the coaching staff to, to choose one individual to represent the group. And uh, for us, not only was Merms our nomination for the Iowa Wild, he's also now been selected as this year's recipient as the AHL's Man of the Year. I was extremely honored. Certainly don't expect that uh, you'll win that award given how many other people do such great things too. So uh, it's definitely not why you do the things you do in the community. You do it for the right reasons, but it's a huge honor when that uh, comes your way. Being in the community is really important. And you kind of find that that comes full circle. You know, there's certain times we need help too, and people are always there to help us also. So hockey and, and work and everything can fill up so much of your time. And we feel we've made a good impact so far, and we hope that continues in the future. Dakota Mermis is a husband, a father, an animal lover, an absolute competitor, and fierce on the ice.